Jeffrey Gamer is not responsible for your game files. All mods in this tutorial have been tested and work properly. I strongly advise you back up your files, as shown in this video, in case you make any mistakes. I advise you watch the full video before installing any mods. Thanks. What is going on, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is back at you with another LSPDFR tutorial. And we got, uh, man, I'm telling you, the, these, these developers that are coming out with these 5M mods for LSPDFR are absolutely fucking amazing. And I'm so glad to be bringing you another mod that resembles a mod in 5M. Um, and I, it just makes the game more realistic, which I love. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. Click the link down below that says clipboard. Okay, that's going to bring you to this page right here. Big shout out to Echo. Click that download this file right there, folks. Then you're going to go ahead and agree and download. And this should be... Uh, pretty quick uh, prop download. These are just a couple of props that we are going to be installing into our game. There we go. So, let's minimize the web browser. Now we want to bring up our file explorer, our main directory, for Steam users. This is for Steam users, folks. You're going to go to your disk drive that you have your game installed through. If it's local disk C, you're going to click that. Program files times 86. Steam. Steam apps and common you're going to see your gta folder right there and if you hold tight i'm going to go to mine there's mine double click your grand theft auto folder that you're installing it into and there we go we are in our main directory front page you're going to see your plugins your mods folder lspdfr everything right here um and let's get started right over here you're going to see the folder that says clipboard double click it and there's that plugins folder that's what we want right there folks so you're going to left click that plugins folder drag it drop it in you're going to see your plugins folder highlight double click it okay and once you do that here is the clipboard it's going to be a plugin so let's go ahead and exit out of the winrar and let's double click the clipboard sprocket okay just double click that and here we go now animation key for the clipboard is why if you do not want to use the modifier key set this to none so the modifier key is left shift key all right uh you can change your prop your character uses by putting the notepad here if anything other than a notepad or clipboard is put here it defaults to the clipboard so we want i think i would like to do Oh man, I thought it was both, but it's not. This is just the clipboard or the notepad. I think what I want to go with is, I think I'd like to go with the notepad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to backspace this and I'm just going to type in notepad. If you want to use the clipboard, clipboard, leave it as is, okay? I'm going to do notepad, as you can see, it says notepad. And it's going to be Y left shift. So first thing I want to do is save that before anything happens. Now, what I want to do is I want to bring up my stream deck. Okay. And I'm going to go to uh, this one right here. This is uh, part of my LSPDFR. And Zenu pointed something out to me in the last video. Yes, this does say ass man. This is my ALPR quick button. And ass man is a Seinfeld rep uh, reference. So there's, don't think there's anything weird with that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to go up and I'm going to look for the hotkey, which is under system hotkey. I'm going to drag that right there. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click to assign and I'm going to do this, the Y plus left shift. So left shift Y. And then under here, I'm going to put notepad. And we're going to make it smaller. I'm also going to bring this over there and drop it in. And we're going to make that smaller so that now, there we go. So that now when I'm in the game, instead of going down to my keyboard and hitting left shift Y, I can just hit the notepad button on my stream deck and it will pop right up. All right, so we're good with that. If you change anything in here again, hit save and then hit X. We can exit out of here. Now, folks, one more thing we want to do. If you do not do this step, it will not go in the game. It will not work in the game, okay? So you're going to hit your rock star, your rage, uh, your rage button, and you're going to hold the shift key in. As soon as you launch rage, 
hold in your shift key and you're going to go to plugins there it is right there clipboard click it once you click that it's all set and then you're going to click save and launch and go into the game folks i'll see y'all in there Alrighty, y'all so here we are in the game and let's go see if we can find somebody to to talk to we're not in uniform but you know that's okay that is all right there we go we got somebody right here that we had a call over here at the hospital about a patient who left so let's go ahead and hop out of our vehicle and let's go talk to these guys here that guy's got a big muscle walk so we're sitting here and we're talking with them and we're talking with them and it's like hey how you guys doing uh sergeant gibson here can you explain to me you know what the what happened here and he's talking you see him he's talking he's upset oh so let me get my notepad out now you now this is where you could choose notepad or clipboard so we're gonna go with notepad here i'm gonna hit my stream deck button so there we go let's hit it and there's the notepad look at that y'all look at that so he's gonna sit there and he's gonna jot it down and he stops jotting it down now if i quickly like pull out my gun okay he still has the notepad in so you gotta so if i'm on the notepad right i have to drop it so i got my notepad and i'm wondering if he's doing that because of the prop because of my uh, character stance i got the cop stance so he likes to put his his hands on his so i think it would be cool if so let's if you hold it in long if you hold it in long the left shift in y it'll disappear but i think one thing that would be cool is if okay so it works while you're walking that's great but when you stand still if your cop goes to that that cop stance where he puts his hands on his hips See, he'll keep writing, and that's great. But then he goes his hands to his hips. And then if I start walking again, the notepad just goes down into my hand. So what I would like is I would like it, A, I would like it if this would override my cop stance. If I'm doing this, don't stand, you know, like a cop. But you could always hit your M key, bring up your menu, go to walk style, and just you could put it on normal and then back out so now if you do the notepad he'll sit there and he'll just he'll write it out you don't have to worry about him doing that cop stance so i think i might i think i might do that i think i might stop with the cop stance i think i because i like this you know you're sitting there and you're talking to somebody and you're writing it down and then let's say something happens behind you where somebody's coming out you're just going to tap that button again to drop the notepad pull out your gun and you're ready to go right if you have the notepad out and you want to just like uh rp that you're putting it away just hold it in and then he puts it away so i like the notepad over the clipboard uh the clipboard would be good for like yeah i need you to sign this okay you got a citation yada 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 but i think i do more interactions on calls than i do traffic stops so i like the notepad and uh yeah so this is cool I would like it to see it. I would like to see it work with the cop walk style. So, because now we just have a regular walk style, and he walks a little. Uh, hey, he's just got a little bit of a of a uh, you know. It just I don't like that walk style. So uh, maybe there's a different walk style that we can do. Let me see. Uh, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. You you can. Uh, that's gangster. I don't, we got posh. No, tough guy. Let's see what the tough. Hey, the tough guy. Hey, man. Hey, the tough guy. Grooving. Puts a little pep in your stuff. Hey, man. Yeah, what's up, man? Then you got cop, and then you got business. Eh, business might. Business might be a. A pretty good one. So let we'll do bit. We'll do business. We'll do business. So let's hit notepad again and just make sure it works. And yeah. So 
that's one thing I would like. Two things that I would that I would absolutely love. Three actually that I would absolutely love to see updates on this. And it might have said it on the page. I don't know. I hope I'm not overstep it. First off, uh, Echo, amazing mod. I fucking love it. It's going in my game. Period. It's going in that, all my files. It's going in my game. Um, first of all, I would love the option to be able to use the notepad and the clipboard. I would love that option. I don't. I don't. I don't like to have to pick one of them because I feel like the notepad is good for when you're interacting outside your car on a call and the clipboard is great for when you have a traffic stop. So I would love to be able to use both. Now, is there an I and I trick where you could put two I and I's, you could just copy, put two I and I's in there and give that a whirl. Now I will try that simply by copying the I and I that's in there, pasting it, going into it and putting it to, to say clipboard and changing the key bind. As a matter of fact, as an added bonus, we're gonna tr we're gonna try that right now. If you don't care, this video is done. If you want to see if this works, um, then stick around for another couple minutes, and we'll do that. Um, so a little added bonus for you. Um, uh, another thing I would like to see is I would like to see this mod work with the cop stand with the cop uh, with the cop walk style. Sorry, bro. Oh man, I am sorry. Oh, Don't. You're gonna be sorry. No, I, well, I already said I was Jesus. sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, Jesus. So number two, the, the the cop style. You see how when I have that cop stance, he stops writing. Oh, uh, maybe the notepad could overwrite that so that doesn't happen. And third, I would like it so that if I have my notepad out and I pull my gun out, right? I would, I would like it for the notepad to automatically just go away. I think that would be great. But So that is going to do it for this video, everybody. Please, if you're new here and you like what you've seen, please, please, please consider supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe and ringing that bell so you know when new content is added. Also, consider dropping this video a thumbs up. The more thumbs up this video gets, the more people it can help, just like it did with you. Till next time, everybody, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. Later, y'all.